If we know the weather of last 10 days, 11th day's weather can be predicted based on the observations made. The same thing is done uh, here. And in this class, what we have done is we have taken four cases male to female transformation, female to male transformation, male to male, and female to female. And uh, as I said, uh, a lot of experiments were done on associative neural networks. And finally, we converged with the configuration that has got uh, 13 input neurons and 13 output neurons and 50 50 in uh, hidden 50 50 neurons hidden uh, layers. In this, the results what we have got are uh, this. Especially in case of speech research, how we evaluate the result is we make some people to hear to those results. If they are comfortable with the results, then we say that we rank them, we rank the output with certain uh, values. That way, this is the mean opinion score. The, the scale was on a 5 point uh, scale. Once we convert it to male to male, male voice of person X is converted to male voice of person Y. 3.5 people have recognized it properly out of uh, some 3.5% uh, like male to female is 4.6, female to male is 4.7, female to female is 3.8. What it indicates is um, human beings are uh, more uh, prominent in identifying the gender transformations than female transformation. Like from one male to another male, people have uh, less uh, identification. But when it is from male to female, people have better identification. That's what this mean opinion score uh, tells. And this is one more objective uh, result. That's a subjective performance of my result. It's an objective one. Data points represents that there is more error. There is a more one graph, but these are actually first top row is for MFC features, bottom row is for LBC features. Yes, yes, that's what uh, I either have to it for the more, more slides. So I did not do much information is not there in this slide. So what does they want to highlight is this wider spread represents a lot of error. And the smaller spread represents less error. Means once we convert one speech pattern to another speech pattern, if there is a less error in our associative neural network weight, it indicates that proper mapping has happened. So in case of LPCs, proper mapping has happened either it is male to female, female to male, whatever it is. But in case of MFCs, the proper mapping has not been happened. That's what we can observe wider spread in case of um, these uh, stuff. That's what. Uh, the baseline that we need to hear. So, the conclusion of this is the uh, system using LPC features performed better compared to MFCC features, and human beings perceive gender information more prominently than um, the speaker information. So, the end for future work would be a complete voice conversion system can be built because here a lot of constraints we assume only language constraints, speaker constraints, and all those kind of things. Is it possible for us to go for language independence? Because training is using English and testing is using Marathi, Kannada, or something like that. Is it possible? Then why is conversion within gender has to be addressed properly? Because conversion from one male to another male, we have a least of problems. So that can be addressed. These are some of the differences. All the differences were not shown here. And there are any suggestions, please. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you.